Starfield. It is the most craziest game in terms of how hard that will push hardware since Crisis. And I said on my last video, don't go rushing out to buy any PC hardware to play this game. Now I've had time to do a little bit more testing, I'm still saying don't rush out to buy any PC hardware to play this game. Um, what I've found so far is a GTX 1060. If you're happy, the 6 gig one to have 30 plus FPS, that'll do the job. Uh, CPU wise, I was just doing loads of tweaks and messing about, but all the benching is done on that first bit in the mine. Um, and I've gone from a 30 FPS at 1080p on low settings, locked, none of this dynamic resolution rubbish. And I've got it so that's on 50 FPS. So I've managed about 60 odd percent increase in performance. And then what I've done at the end of the video, I've just put that that battle with the space pirates on there, and a little bit in the starship, so you can see what it's doing uh, with the best settings I've got so far. Um, but off the top of my head, I weren't getting as high a FPS as I was down in that mine. But um, I've put I'll show up the. The bits of gameplay with the different settings so you can see it for yourself i mean i don't know it might be that on different planets at different places you need different settings i don't know it's just flipping crazy because you could just run around in circles with this all the time but i'm doing the best i can with what i've got um and it seems to me that the memory speed is going to make a big difference the cache on your cpu is going to make a difference and you ain't necessarily going to get any benefits from having loads of CPU cores and threads. Anyway, I'll stick up the footage and uh, make of it what you will. And I'll keep on doing tests and overclocking. And then eventually I should be able to work out what is the optimum. Certainly if you're on a budget for this game. If you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Stay the course? 
No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein you looked at? Yes, ma'am. starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on.
will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Boosting weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. <laughs> 